Hello, my sexy and beautiful people of the internet. My name is Diego, also known as the Chilean Ruta Gamer. And welcome back to the Rule of Sadness Naked Gaming Edition with the second game of tournament number four. I'm gonna be playing some Defender by Williams for the arcade game from 1980. And I'm gonna let you know right now, I'm gonna be cheating. I'm gonna be using infinite lives and infinite smart bombs. And even with these cheats, this game is gonna kick my ass hard. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be playing this more than five minutes. I'm gonna tell you why. Because this game is actually a lot more complicated than it looks. I mean, it looks like a one of the, you know, pioneers of side scrolling, as you can see. Very simplistic controls, going left and right, shooting, using smart bombs whenever it's necessary. But trust me guys, this game is so difficult to control because there is a button for accelerating, there is another button for shooting, there is a third button for using a smart bomb, and a fourth button for teleporting, which I think in this game is called, let me confirm the information here, it's called hyperspace. See, there is a button for fire, for thrust, which is the basically the acceleration, uh, smart bomb, hyperspace, and the reverse button was a fifth separate button. You can also move up and down apparently in terms of the, like the path. But yeah, I configured the, rever the reverse button so I can move it left and right. But it's not just enough for, with moving left and right, but you have to accelerate when doing that. So the controls are actually difficult to to get used to. So most likely I'm gonna be doing that, abusing the hyper, sorry, the smart bomb. Or take my time. All right, rescue that guy there. But see, I'm already getting confused trying to reverse because I'm almost trying to go left by holding left, but there is, it's not enough just by doing that. That enemy is the worst. So fucking unpredictable. I mean, I personally feel or, or get satisfaction out of destroying these regular enemies with my regular shots. I can just mar bomb the whole level if I wanted to. But I'm trying my best for not doing that. Okay, the shot is really inaccurate. All the enemies are too fucking smart. Okay, now you're gonna use the reverse and then the other button. See, that guy is not really giving me a break. He's super fucking crazy. Again, I was like practicing this game off screen and there was no way I could get decent at it. Or even like complete one wave without dying a million fucking times. Look at these little bullets that they divide into. They still shoot me afterwards. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's how you win basically at this, by, by basically smart bombing everything. Just got a message from my mom, sorry about that guys. Wow. And they destroyed everything if you take uh, too long. So all those people there that were like waiting there, waiting for me to save them, not gonna happen. Yeah, that was wave two, just to give you an idea how difficult this shit is. And yeah, you get an extra life every 10,000 points. And the limit for is your smart bombs is three. All right, that enemy is the worst. I insist. And they're unreachable. That's the like the most frustrating thing. They get out of my reach, so I cannot shoot them. Yeah, I'm just using the smart bombs like crazy. I actually played this recently on a conversion, or actually on a port. Uh, the Midway 
arcade treasures for GameCube. I played it on emulator, of course. And in there was actually easier to control, but the original arcade, as you can tell... It's difficult to get used to. Again, because of the amount of buttons you have to, like... Focus on. Alright, at least I kill one of those invaders with just my lasers. Yeah, the difficulty is kind of a problem for me, to be honest. It's so excessive. From wave one, it's way too much. But we gotta be honest, we gotta praise this game for being pretty much uh, super innovative, starting with a side scrolling perspective. Oh shit, right in my face. Uh, yeah, side scrolling perspective, uh, lots of colors. And again, I, I insist that the problem with this game is that they made it way too complex control-wise. The playability is super simple, I'm pretty sure the conversions fix that. And again, I'm gonna end up beating the level just by using smart bombs. And even that isn't enough, because apparently the smart bombs do not get rid of the bullets that are stationary. Yeah, those enemies are fucking impossible to deal with. In fucking possible. I guess waiting for them is a uh, good idea. After all, and of course they get enemies from behind. I wasn't watching my radar. But yeah, that's essentially what Defender is. The first stage is actually something that you can practice on a lot. But after that, it's pretty much impossible. Because it fills with enemies. Okay, okay. I honestly didn't think I was going to watch or see those guys again. Yeah, those enemies are manageable, but those are like the only ones. That's what happens if you rescue one of those guys, see? I couldn't even reverse, again, I am super like overwhelmed by the controls that I, can, I cannot react in time. Look at that little fucker. Again, sometimes the easiest solution is just to wait. Alright. <laughs> Again, the amount of enemies here is fucking brutal. Wasn't there a defender too? I think there was. And even if you try to, like, take the enemies, like, with the regular shots and everything, oh no. Uh, still not enough. When I played this on the uh, GameCube port, I actually managed to to get to Wave 3 legit. Because I think the game was actually more generous with the lives, uh, um, you know, through the points. Alright, I killed one of those guys legit. That's uh, enough satisfaction for me. Okay, there's apparently one uh, UFO that keep respawning after a while. Alright, this is the last wave I'm doing. This is like the best I've done actually in this game. Again, by cheating essentially because there's no way I can get good at this game with so many buttons to press. In a gameplay that doesn't really require that many buttons. So yeah, the other button is for teleporting to another area. Wow, I teleported right into a bullet? Really? Seriously, I, I am so bad at shooting or the enemies are so fucking sneaky. Perfect. That was a nice combination. And they destroy everything. Seriously. Seizure alert, I should have told you. But 
But yeah, I really want to see a way to basically fix the control so I can go left and right just by pressing left and right. And of course, do the acceleration and all of that at the same time and not just turn around and then press an acceleration button because that confuses me a lot. Especially if I have to shoot afterwards. I insist, I think the Game Boy port, sorry, the, the GameCube port. I'm sure there are other ports who, who fix that in a way. Those guys are super annoying. I think there is one more left. Whatever. Smart bombing through everything. Alright guys, that's Defender. Sorry for the bad gameplay, but I didn't actually know. I wasn't expecting um, that the game was actually very, like, overcomplicated in terms of controls. But still, it's a classic, and I guess it's worth taking it a look. So, next week, everybody, we're going to do the only non-shooter that we have in tournament number four, which is Mortal Kombat 3 on DOS. So, stay tuned.